First up is the episode Cookie Cooks. A very weird episode, but with a pretty funny plot. Here, take a look. Her and I will have the kelp consomme mm. to start, followed mm. by the sargasso salad. <laughs> <laughs> and the sweet and sour algae. That one last thing to try. <laughs> uh, waiter, there's an eyelash in me soup. <laughs> This is so embarrassing! <laughs> Wait! <clears throat> oh, oh no, don't go, sweetie bird! Yeah, Mr. Krabs got himself in some trouble with his wifey, Mrs. Puff, in this episode. Really funny. But don't worry, he has a plan and brings her over to his house for dinner. And this is where we can find our first mistake. Let's see if you guys can spot it. <laughs> The sparkling cider is extra fizzy tonight. Now you just relax, Puffkins, while I consult with me very expensive private chefs. <laughs> this one is really bad, but for about one frame, um, what's going on with Mr. Krabs? It's like some of his body's cropped, like the top of his eyes, the side of his claw, and that ain't even it, as there's another mistake in this episode. Let's see if you guys can catch it. How are we supposed to cook anything with this junk? What are you talking about? <laughs> This is high quality Navy surplus here. Oh, oh. <laughs> so maybe it's a little outdated. Now just get cooking, and the dinner had better be fantastic, or else. This one is just like weird. As look, where's Mr. Krabs's mouth? It's a weird animation error here. You can tell there's something going on with the animation. And we've got another one. Take a look. <laughs> <laughs> Just let me check the quality, my dear. Let go of my grub, Bob! Oh. 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 I'm famished! That's not food! That's SpongeBob! Yeah. Now this one is really easy to miss since it only happens for one frame. But boom, Mr. Krabs' claw detaches from his hand for a whole frame. It looks very odd and was definitely a mistake. And hey, I've got even crazier mistakes coming up, so stay tuned. Our first set of mistakes can be found in the episode Naughty Nautical Neighbors, a devious episode where Squidward does something not very cool. Take a look. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick, you are the dumbest idiot it has ever been my misfortune to know. <laughs> I heard there was a job opening down at the pet shop. As some newspaper. Then that makes you a big dummy, you dummy. Yeah, well, that means that the... Uh... So are you! Look, Squidward, I get it. SpongeBob and Patrick are annoying neighbors, but I can't believe you'd ruin their friendship like this. Anyways, though, let's get to the mistakes. Let's see if you guys can catch this first one. It happens really fast. What's that? It's what you are! Well, you're a bigger one. Well, you're still yellow. You know what else is yellow? What? Ah, ah, ah. Yeah? Well, it doesn't matter what you call me because I never want to see you again anyway. Okay, so this one might seem kind of weird, but I want you to take a look at the back of Squidward's house. He has this window, and as you can see, when Squidward comes out, the window's there and it has glass. But then, when the scene changes to this shot, where did the glass go? In this shot, there's glass, but then in this shot, there's no glass, which is definitely a mistake. And I've got another one. Let's see if you guys can catch it. Squidward, this is the best souffle you have ever created. Congratulations, chef.
This one is really funny, but Squidward changes outfits, okay? But as he's running, there's two of his brown shirt. He's throwing the shirt off to change into his fancy outfit, but there should only be one, not two. Also, another mistake, if you look, there's socks. When Squidward has literally never worn socks before, that's just not a thing, and another mistake. And I've got another one. Man, this episode has so many mistakes, huh? Take a look. Are you kidding? I've been playing bassinet for years. Give me an A, buddy. Squidward is my best friend in the world. Squidward. What's Patrick more than SpongeBob? And Patrick is a dirty, stinky, rotten friend. This is another weird one. So as you can see, this window is like just a hole in the wall, right? There isn't any glass or any frame. You can see it right here. It's just a hole. But then as the scene progresses, this window now has glass and like a frame, right? Like before it looked like this, now it looks like this. So another mistake. And I've got some crazier ones coming up, so stay tuned. Season 12's Who Are Zoo is a pretty underrated episode, to be honest. Like SpongeBob at a zoo sounds like a really fun concept. Take a look at these clips. Hey, Jimmy, I found your ball. And your sister. And the elephant says... <laughs> and the baboon says... <laughs> and the zookeeper goes... I'm done with his kids. These are not pets. These are wild animals. And you can get seriously injured. <laughs> now, of course, this episode has some mistakes. I mean, it's why it's in today's video. So here's the first one. And as always, let's see if you guys can catch it without my help. These little cuties are dangerous. <laughs> Don't be silly. <laughs> oh, that's it. <laughs> For me? Thanks. <laughs> This first one's pretty easy, but for the most part throughout this episode, this monster's antenna has like a red spike ball at the end of it. It's always red, but near the ending of the episode, for like one scene, it's now purple, which was just a weird continuity error. And I've got another one. Let's see if you guys can spot it. Oh, time to feed the sea monsters. Two, Ellie, zoop. This one is pretty bad. As for one frame, um, what's going on with SpongeBob's pants? They're yellow. Well, like his shirt is yellow. That's, that's a mistake. And I've got some crazier ones coming up, so stay tuned. Let's kick things off with the first SpongeBob Christmas special ever, Christmas Who? An episode all about SpongeBob, Squidward, and the rest of the gang being introduced to Christmas and Santa for the very first time. Here, take a look at some clips. You know, they didn't always celebrate Christmas in Bikini Bottom. They didn't? Oh, sir. There was a time when no one had even heard of Christmas in Bikini Bottom. Hey! Who wants to hear the story of SpongeBob's very first Christmas? Step outside, we got something for you to see. SpongeBob, take this stuff down immediately. Chestnuts roasting and birds in that third day. This Christmas feels like the very first Christmas to me. <laughs> This This episode is so fun. Like seriously guys, there's so many funny clips. I'm gonna get to the mistakes, but I wanna show you this one clip of when Santa arrives. It is so funny. Here, take a look. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,
Okay, enough of the funny clips, let's get into the mistakes. One thing I want you guys to remember though is the plot of this episode. I want you guys to remember that Spongebob and the gang, they don't know who Santa is at the beginning of the episode. Remember this, as it'll be important later on. Anyways though, here's a clip of the first mistake. Let's see if you guys can spot this first mistake on your own. Today, I'm gonna sneak up and get that Sandy with a super sneaky karate move. <laughs> So in this scene, we see Spongebob rushing over to Sandy's house, and of course he has his water helmet, as he needs it or like he'll die. But as he runs off, look, there's one frame where the helmet like glitches, and it's floating. If you look in the next shot, he's wearing it, so it was definitely a mistake. And I've got another one. Let's see if you guys can spot it. This one's kinda complicated though. Patrick, I designed this mechanism specifically to shoot bottles to the surface. The hopes of everyone rest on the success of its maiden voyage. Santa! Where's Santa? He doesn't come till Christmas Eve. Excuse me! Coming through! Out of the way! Great, Whitward! You finished! What's your wish? Is that the people of Bikini Bottom will stop paying any attention to the inane dribble that is constantly streaming out of this Thunderhead's mouth! So this blue dude right here is Harold. He's a long-time incidental character, has been in the show since the early days. And as you can see, he always wears a white shirt in red shorts, always. But in this episode, as you can see in this shot when we first see him, he's wearing this all black drip. I don't know what's going on, but then literally in the next shot, his outfit changes to his regular white outfit. So major continuity error in this section. And of course, I've got one more mistake. Let's see if you guys can spot it without my help. But the best part is, you can write a letter to this guy, Santa Claus, and tell him what you want, and when he comes, he brings it to you. Okay, who's next? <laughs> Here you go, Patrick. There's no words on this paper. Not yet. A writing stick! No one's gonna give me a gift just because I write them a stupid letter. SpongeBob, I ripped my paper. Could I have another one? Here, buddy. Here you go. Okie dokie, Squid. Squid. <laughs> uh, SpongeBob. Dear Santa. Oh, not again. Yeah, so this one is really bad, and I think I've covered it before, guys, but because this is the Christmas one, I want to include all Christmas mistakes, but boom. Why does SpongeBob's shoes look like that? If you look, the shoes weren't colored in. They're just transparent. They're see-through. So the animators forgot to color in his shoes here, which is a really, really bad mistake. But hey, I've got even crazier ones coming up. Stay tuned. So remember how I said to remember the plot of the episode Christmas Who, where Santa comes to Bikini Bottom for the first time, right? Like, Bikini Bottom doesn't know who Santa is in that episode. They've never seen him before. But in the episode Who Who Horror from Camp Coral, there's a massive mistake that revolves around this. I'm gonna play some clips, and let's see if you guys can catch it on your own. So as you guys just seen, in this episode, Sandy and the gang Spongebob, Patrick, Mrs. Puff are all introduced to Santa Claus for the first time, right? It's their first time meeting him. However, this is a massive mistake. Camp Coral is a prequel, meaning it takes place before original Spongebob, right? So if in the episode Christmas Who, Spongebob and the gang meet Santa for the first time, they don't know who Santa is, then the plot of Camp Coral, Ho Ho Horror, makes no sense because they wouldn't know who Santa is until actually actual Spongebob, so massive mistake here. Massive mistake. I gotta say, when it comes to the episode Jolly Lodgers, I really feel bad for Squidward. Like, the dude just wants a break, and then this happens. Are you going somewhere? I'll be staying at a hotel for the next few days. For peace and quiet! <laughs> well now, this is very nice indeed. Hello? Anyone 
someone there? Hello? Room service. Come in. <laughs> Squidward? What a happy surprise! Like poor Squidward. And things get worse, as this episode also, I mean, duh, has some mistakes. Let's take a look at this first one. <sighs> you stay away from me! I don't want to see either of you in any part of this hotel! Come on, this one's easy. I know you guys caught it. You're probably commenting it right now, but boom. SpongeBob's missing his mouth. Okay, I've got one more, and it also has to do with a missing mouth. Let's see if you guys can catch it. No SpongeBob. No Patrick. <sighs> ah, peace and quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Look, guys, I hate to nitpick, but um, Patrick's missing his mouth, and that's like a really bad mistake. But hey, I've got some that are even crazier coming up, so let's get into them. Up next is another SpongeBob classic, that being Ripped Pants. Now, most of you guys already know how this episode goes because it's iconic, but here's some clips. Here's a summary of the plot. All right, stand back, everyone. a couple of these with the addition of two count them two marshmallows Now this episode has three mistakes in total. The first two aren't that big of a deal, but the last one is crazy. First up is this scene. So as you can see, there are these two huts in the background. They're right here, they're behind Larry, and they're behind the fish laying down, lifting weights. But as the scene progresses, they just disappear. They were here, but then they're just gone during this shot. Another very similar mistake also happens in this scene. Take a look. Anybody up for some volleyball? Like I said, it's very similar. At first, we can see this hut over here, but then the hut just disappears afterwards. Also, keep in mind, there was originally two, and now there's only one, so just a bunch of mistakes in regards to this scene. But none of them compare to this one. This one's bad. Take a look. Now I learned a lesson I won't soon forget, so listen and you just because I ripped my pants. When Big Larry came round just to put him down, SpongeBob turned into a clown. So as you can see, we've got Frank the Whale over here smashing on the drums. He's actually a pretty good drummer. And you can see that he has an eye, obviously. Well, during this one shot of the performance, his eyes just disappeared, it's just gone. And no, it's not that his eyes closed. You'd see a marking for that. His eye just wasn't drawn, and that was some lazy work by the animators. And it doesn't end here, as I've got some even lazier mistakes coming up, so get ready. Next up is the season eight episode. It's a SpongeBob Christmas. Now, this episode is really good, and I'm going to give it a bit of a break, as the animation style is different. Like guys, when it comes to stop motion animation, it is a lot harder than like 2D animation. 
animation. So the mistakes in this episode are kind of understandable. Anyways, here's the first one. Let's see if you guys can catch it on your own. Sandy, Sandy, I need your help. It's Christmas Eve, and everyone in Bikini Bottom are acting like jerks. You gotta help me find out why. Why should I help all them jerks? Because those jerks don't care about Christmas anymore, Sandy. It's a problem. My only problem is I'm out of fruitcake. Only thing I got left to eat are boring old nuts. <laughs> Yeah, so Spongebob should be wearing a water helmet since he needs water to survive. As we've seen in like the third episode of Spongebob ever, Tea at the Tree Dome, here's a clip and you guys will know exactly what I mean. No water. That ain't a problem, is it? Problem? Back! Uh, yeah! That's how I like my air. <gasps> So not that big of a deal, but definitely a mistake. And I have another one. Let's see if you guys can spot this one. Oh, it's drawing very near. My favorite time of year. The snow is falling and the cold wind blows. Christmas is almost here. I like my house like a Christmas tree. Again, this one is mainly due to the animation style, so I can't blame them, all right? But as you can see in this shot, SpongeBob puts lights all over the door of his house. There's lights on his door. But literally in the next frame, where did the lights go? They're, they're just gone. It's not even like they're turned off. They're just literally gone from the door, which again, most likely due to the animation. Not a big deal. Let's move on to some crazier mistakes. Okay, so we've already covered some classic SpongeBob. Let's go to the future to modern SpongeBob and talk about the episode Cuddle E Hugs, which has an interesting plot. Here, take a look for yourself. Here, look. <laughs> Are you doing all right there, friend? What are you? Hey, have you seen Cuddly Hugs anywhere? Where could he have gone? Maybe a bite of Krabby Patty will make me feel better. I must miss Cuddle more than I thought. And I miss you. You're still here! Yeah, SpongeBob is tripping in this episode. He keeps eating these rotten Krabby Patties and it results in him hallucinating this freaking animal. He doesn't even exist. He's not even real. SpongeBob is just tripping, as we can see in our first mistake. Take a look. It has to do with Sandy and let's see if you guys can catch it. I just tried to introduce him to my friend Cuddly Hugs and he went crazy. In fact, everyone's acting weird. They're all pretending they can't see him. Huh? Huh? Oh, I'm sorry, SpongeBob. But I don't see anyone. He's the giant hamster! Right there! Oh, I get it. He's your imaginary friend. Yeah, this one's really bad. So as you can see, Sandy's wearing her air helmet, right? But she somehow scratches her head. Guys, this wouldn't be possible because she has the air helmet on. She wouldn't be able to put her hand through the glass to scratch her head. This is like a really bad mistake in terms of animation. And there's more. Take a look at this next one. It's our ability to give tender head kisses that separates us from the lower life form, SpongeBob. Do you hear that, Gary? Come here! So, best friend, what should we do today? You should meet my other friends. They are gonna love you. So this one is more of a continuity error. But as you can see in this shot, we've got this lovely portrait of Gary on the wall. It's right here. It's in between the couch and SpongeBob. But then, during this shot, where did the portrait go? Did SpongeBob just put it away? I highly doubt it because it all happens in a matter of seconds. So another mistake. And as I keep on saying, guys, stay tuned as I'm saving the best one for last and I've got lots more. Next up is the episode, The Hankering, an episode where we learn a very dark secret about Mr. Krabs. Eugene got the usual here. One big steaming plate of chop. Enjoy. Oh, I don't understand, Mr. Krabs. Oh, I suppose there's no hiding it, boy. It all started back in the old Navy days. Our supplies had been decimated. Oh, all we had left is chum. 
I'm starting to feel peckish. With all that flavor, sweet gamey, with a creamy, chunky mouthfeel. I've had a chum monkey on my back ever since. Yeah, this dude loves chum. So much so that it really gets him into trouble later on in the episode. And this is also where we can find our next two mistakes. Take a look at this first one, as there's two mistakes in one clip. Let's see if you can spot it. <laughs> I win! You get nothing! Okay, so for one, during one of these frames, Mr. Krabs' pupils are missing. And no, it's not because he's blinking, guys. Your pupils don't just disappear. And literally like two frames later, look at this one. There's something up with Mr. Krabs' eyes. His pupils are off of the actual eyeballs, which was definitely like another animation mistake. And there's even another one in this episode. To capture the natural bouquet of the chum, I made this batch entirely from old snail litter. <sighs> A little dry. Next! Ooh, I think you'll like this one. It's made from wishes and love. <laughs> it's too sweet! It's very easy to miss, but for one frame, one of Mr. Krabs' like, sleeves is red. It's the same color as his skin, when I mean it's supposed to be blue like his outfit. Weird. Now look guys, I love modern Spongebob, but I also love classic Spongebob. So next up is the episode Plankton. Closer! Not that close! Ah! You blasted barnacle head! I mean, hi! <laughs> and now for my very elaborate and college educated plan. Now it's time for a little wakey uppy. <laughs> I, I feel a little funny today. So this first error is actually pretty complicated and it's very easy to miss. But once I show you, you guys will never forget this. You're right, Gary. There is something wrong with me. Squidward! Squidward! Wake up! I need some help! Squidward! SpongeBob, what are you doing? I'm talking to you! SpongeBob, SpongeBob, are you mad? So while Plankton's controlling SpongeBob, he crashes into Squidward's bedroom. But here's the issue. Squidward's bedroom is on the second floor of his house, but SpongeBob crashes through the bottom floor, as we can see in this scene. So this is like a major mistake because why is Squidward's bedroom on the bottom floor? It's supposed to be on the second floor. Talk about a mistake and here's another one. This is my lab. My laboratory! And did I ever show you my record player? <laughs> no, 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 no. Now this one is a little more straightforward, and to be honest, it might just be due to the animation, but as Spongebob jumps in this scene, while well, he's more pulled, half of his body disappears. Like I said, it could be due to animation, but I don't think so guys. I think this one was a mistake. And let's keep this going, as I've got some more. Okay, and last but certainly not least, like I said I saved the best for last, is the episode Rockabye the Valve. A really interesting episode where Spongebob and Patrick become parents. Spongebob becomes the mom, Patrick becomes the dad, and they take care of this cute little thing. Take a look. That's what's messing with us. It's a baby scallop. I'll take care of this. No, Patrick, it's totally helpless. Well, what's the matter? Is he stupid? No, Patrick, he's just a baby. He's all alone with no one to take care of him. Well, we, we can't just leave him out here. Hey, it's kind of cute. Uh-oh. I 
I think not somebody's not hungry. hungry. Is it true? Are you hungry? How would you like a Krabby Patty? SpongeBob SquarePants, are you crazy? That's not the right food for a little fella like him. All we have left is this apple. Hello, sea creatures. I bring you greetings from Apple World. Of course, scallops love worms. Oh, wait, we will bury you. This episode's really good, guys. I recommend it, but it has some mistakes. They don't take away from the episode, but they're there. Let's take a look at this first one, and of course, let's see if you guys can spot it. <laughs> oh boy, that was some party. Oh, hey, SpongeBob. What? What? Oh, nothing. Oh, what a relief. For a second, I thought you were mad at me. Do you remember what you said to me this morning? Something about root beer, right? No. Did you catch it? Well, as SpongeBob reaches his arm out, it gets cut off, which is definitely an animation mistake. His arm should be fully animated and drawn. Let's see if you guys can find this other one. It's pretty hidden. Let's see. We need a box for him to sleep in. There you go. It's the best seat in the house. Actually, honestly, this one's pretty obvious, and I might have covered it before, I don't know for sure. But, uh, why is SpongeBob's arm see-through? It's just transparent. They forgot to color it in. Crazy. Next up is one of the best SpongeBob Christmas specials so far, and it's actually also the most recent one. That being SpongeBob's Road to Christmas. This episode has, like, a hilarious plot. So here, just take a look at these clips from the beginning of the episode to kind of set it up for you guys. This gift is for Santa Claus. Even Santa deserves a gift, right, Gary? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Ho, 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 shrink down. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Sofa. Look at that, Gary. It's the present I left for Santa last Christmas. Isn't that nice? The present I left for Santa last Christmas? Like I said, the plot is really good, with SpongeBob and Patrick being forced to go with Plankton to the North Pole. That way SpongeBob can deliver his gift for Santa that Santa forgot. Now, let's get into the mistakes though. I'm gonna show this first set of clips, and as you guys can guess, let's see if you guys can spot the mistake. I could ask for the Krabby Patty secret formula, and he'd have to give it to me. I'm coming with you. We are going in style, babies. <laughs> <laughs> of course, safety first. All secured, Captain Plankton. It only happens for one frame, but Plankton loses his mouth for that one frame, and it looks really weird. It's very odd. Go get your mouth back, Plankton. I've got another mistake, and let's see if you guys can spot it. Let's see if you guys are mistake hunters like me. <laughs> Box anyway. It's a surprise. I hope it's a stink bomb for that pot belly jingle joker. Oh. I'm going to sleep. But who will fly this thing? I put it on automatic pilot. You and that pink moron can sleep on the floor. I'm not gonna lie, I did recently cover this mistake in a short, so if you guys seen it already, I understand. But for those who didn't, why does SpongeBob's eye look like that? His eyes like blue, which is a major mistake. Okay, and last but not least, I have like five or six mistakes all in one episode. And I gotta say, I love this episode. I'm talking about Feral Friends. Huh? Whoa! She's going on here. Oh, <laughs> Attic girl, sissy. It, Look yeah. out, Bon. Green cheese, green cheese, green cheese. SpongeBob, Patrick, no, not me. Oh! Huh? I guess it only affects secret. 
kilometers. But I still don't get why that green moon is turning everyone into wild swimming fish. This episode has an awesome plot, with the tidal zone turning all the different SpongeBob characters into like the real fish versions. And of course, the episode has a couple of mistakes. It actually has like five or six. Take a look at this first one. Stroke! Stroke! Oh! <laughs> hey, kitties! It's your old pal Patchy floating somewhere over Bikini Bottom. I'm just here for the buffet! <laughs> Give me that! <laughs> what do you think you are? A seahawk? <laughs> I can't help it if I was born a predator! Buddy, I guess you're right. Can you ever forgive me? Shake! Okay, so there's a big continuity error in this scene, as when we first see Patchy, his hands are just bare. He doesn't have a hook on his hands like he normally does. But then, literally seconds later, and the man now has a hook on his hand. Definitely a mistake. We did not see him put it on. And let's take a look at this other mistake. Squirrely birthday, dear Sandy. Squirrely birthday to you. This one is kinda weak sauce, I'll admit, but when we first see Sandy's birthday cake, there's a squirrel on it. But then, during this one shot, the squirrel is just gone. Hold your breath, critters! Nobody's gonna eat you guys on my I watch. Ow! So normally, Sandy looks like this, with her neck being brown, the same color as like her tail. But during one frame in this episode, her neck is white, which is a major mistake. And of course, I've got one more, guys. This one's spicy. So as you can see, Sandy has been turned into a squirrel version. And take a look at the squirrel in the helmet, it has a tail, right? Well, why does the rest of Sandy's body, like her suit, also have a tail? This is like a major mistake and it's a, it's a bad one. Now, this is probably going to do it for today's video, guys, but I wanna give a massive shout out to the Grapple Gang, all of you guys watching right now. So guys, lately I've been doing a lot of compilation videos because it's been the holiday. Those videos where you can tell I'm using old mistakes, but going forward into the new year, it's gonna be all like brand new videos now, now that the holidays are done, so. Anyways though, I love you guys. Shout out to the Grapple Gang, shout out to the Premiere Gang, and if you're new, make sure to subscribe as I'll be responding to the comments of all subscribers on this video, for sure. I've been slacking on it, but for, but for sure. Anyways, though, I love you guys. Remember, the Cosmic Shake comes out this month and the Tidal Zone. So I'm going to be doing tons of videos on those, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!